Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, video. Today I want to discuss with you a topic in Hibernate, namely the order, the column order in the database. So uh, for that I prepared this entity, person, with an ID, first name, surname, age, country and gender. And my goal is to have uh, some control on the order in the database. So this is my entity and here I have a main function or method. So I am just creating an object person and persisting it in the database. I'm using each two database. So let's run. So I'm running the application and you see one row has been inserted. So let's look in the console is yes. and and you see this is my order and the question how we can control that so for, for example i don't want to have the first name here i want to have first name at first fortunately it is not possible to do that it seems that the order is that the columns are alphabetically ordered so if i change for example uh, gender so let's do a test I will just put it uh, in capital and normally uh, capital letter are at the beginning in, uh, in the order. And we will adjust here. I am using Lombok. It means now yeah, it should work. So let's let's start the program again and let's let's have a look in the database. And you see, indeed, now gender is at the beginning, that the ID is always the first column in the table. And after that, the columns are alphabetically ordered. In some situation, this is not the optimal order. And uh, the way to have control or to change that would be to uh, create the table in advance and just put this parameter uh, to validate, for example. However, maybe as workaround in test environment, you can also uh, choose the property name in such way that it fits to uh, the order you want. So I prepared here this example. So let's try it. So what I am doing now so let's import this annotation so uh, yeah it looks a bit weird uh, dirty so i want uh, to have first name uh, after the id so i'm just adding this prefix it is not perfect but could be a solution in some situation and you see uh, you need to use the column annotation to specify the name. And we have also to adjust as the function here. I prepared this as well. And let's see what's happened. Set, we don't have such things. We are using Lombok. It means that the set and getter are automatically generated. Let's stop this one and try again. So now it should be in the correct order. Let's check. And indeed, so we have, yeah, as expected. This is one possibility, but uh, the best solution is to use, uh, to create the tables in advance. I, I don't know why Hibernate teams uh, didn't put any effort here to to make it possible to to define the entity uh, the the columns in in the order that uh, we want to have more control on this. I don't know why, but maybe because uh, normally it is seldom when when you let uh, Hibernate create the DDL for you. So it is almost uh, that um, the DDL is uh, uh, run in advance. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching and bye.